Hello and welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today is Monday, June the 12th, and we will be reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verses 8 through 14. Here is the word of the Lord. If you see the poor oppressed in a district, and justice and rights denied, do not be surprised at such things, for one official is eyed by a higher one, and over them both are others higher still. The increase from the land is taken by all. The king himself profits from the fields. Who lo whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. As goods increase, so do those who consume them. And what benefit are they to the owners except to feast their eyes on them? The sleep of a laborer is sweet, whether they eat little or much. But as for the rich, their abundance permits them no sleep. I have seen a grievous evil under the sun, wealth hoarded to the harm of its owners or wealth lost through some misfortune. So when they have children, there is nothing left for them to inherit. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is titled, Contentment for the Journey. Our articles this week are written by Ben Hayden, and Ben is a chaplain with the Church of the Nazarene in Kansas City, Missouri. Here's what Ben writes. Money surrounds our everyday living. Each day we receive or spend money in some shape or form. Money is a necessary part of life and should not be considered evil. However, our attitude towards money becomes harmful when we try to gain more to minimize the fear of scarcity or become consumed by our financial situation. Today's scripture passage is a reminder that wealth is not the final goal. Ecclesiastes 10.5 reminds us that contentment is key in our spiritual lives. There is nothing wrong with being a good steward of the finances with which God has entrusted us. Yet, we, as we manage our money, we must be careful not to allow our money to manage us. The experience of serving in an inner city church shaped and formed my future ministry. Many of the congregants in this church were poor by economic value, but rich in love. They understood the place of money within our lives and the place where our true treasure is found. Matthew 6:21 says it well. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. The Love of God by Frederick M. Lehman is the hymn. The love of God is greater far than tongue nor pen can ever tell. And from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain. And this is your daily devotion for Monday, June the 12th. Have a blessed day.